Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Andy Park. Welcome back to this channel. In this video, I'll share my personal top five favorite features in OneNote. I'm using the 2016 version that came with Microsoft Office. So if you're using a different version, these tips may not work for you. I have a timestamp in the description if you want to jump ahead. So tip number one, set picture as background. So very often I take a screen capture of something I'm interested in and make annotations on it in OneNote. And this is especially useful in Teams or Zoom meeting when someone shares content heavy slide on screen and I want to make notes on it. If you ever try to make notes or annotations on an inserted image, you may have run into an issue where your annotations don't stay in sync with the image and sometimes your annotations disappear altogether. Let me show you what I mean. Let's go to the insert tab and choose select clipping. I'm just going to grab the screen of a PowerPoint slide. Let's add some annotations, highlighting this here and adding an arrow. Let's even add some text. Now, if we click this image and drag it, the annotations disappear. Actually, they're still there, but just behind the image. This can be really frustrating. Let's delete everything and do this the right way. Let's paste the image again from the earlier screen capture. Right click on it and choose set picture as background. And we can get rid of the container. Now this picture is fixed to the page as a background and is no longer selectable. This makes it a lot easier to make annotations on it. We can do this not only with screen clippings, but with imported files also, like PowerPoint and Word. Let's go to Insert, File Printout, and choose this PowerPoint file. We see that the printed slides have been inserted, and we can select each slide and set as background. Tip number two, link to pages and paragraphs using double brackets. So we have a few pages here in this section. I'm going to right click on this strategy page and select copy link to page. Then go back to the overview page and right click to paste the link. I'll do the same with the operations page. Now we have these two links that we can use as shortcuts to get to those pages. But that was a lot of steps going back and forth between pages and copying and pasting. A much easier way to do this is by using double brackets. So if I enclose the page name in double brackets like this, it'll automatically create a link to it. Let's do that again with the operations page. And let's verify that they work. And it's easy to embed these links in our notes without disrupting our flow. We can also create new pages in the section by enclosing the new page name in the double brackets. If the name is not already assigned to an existing page, then it'll just create a new page. If you want to go a step further with using links, we can even link to a specific paragraph in a page. Simply select the paragraph we want to link to and paste it where we want it. Using these links allow us to navigate our notebooks in much more dynamic and efficient way. Tip number three, full screen and always on top. There are two things I always do with OneNote at the start of each meeting. First, I put it in full screen mode to get rid of all the distractions and have a just a simple blank page ready for input. And second, I pin the OneNote window to always be on top so that it doesn't get buried under other active windows as I toggle back and forth between them. To put the note page in full screen, click on this icon here. You may have to scroll around to reposition the page. And to pin the window to always be on top, 
Go to the View tab and choose Always on Top in the Window section. This will make it a lot easier for you to take notes during a meeting. Tip number four, shortcuts. Learning keyboard shortcuts for any given app probably has the biggest impact on increasing productivity within that app. I make it a point to learn keyboard shortcuts to all apps that I use regularly. Here are my favorites for OneNote. The first is tables. If you saw my video on taking notes in OneNote, you'll know that I love structuring my notes in a table format. We can create a table simply by hitting a tab after typing a word or a phrase. Enter another word or phrase and hit tab again to create another column. Hit enter to create a row below and continue entering your notes by tabbing to the next column. This is a very quick and efficient way to capture and organize information. If you need to create an additional column after you've defined the table structure, tab isn't going to work. You'll need to hit Ctrl Alt R. And if you need to add a row after the table structure is set, you can hit Ctrl Enter. You can do this from any row to add a blank row below. And to delete a row, simply select it and hit delete. To move the row up or down in a table or in a list, simply select that row and hit Alt Shift up or down. This is one of my favorite shortcuts as it allows me to reorganize my notes after I've captured them. Now on to lists. This is a no-brainer. Organizing and structuring your notes is super important and lists helps you do that. Use Control period for bullet list and Control forward slash for number list. You can select an existing list and apply either the bullet style or number style by using the keyboard shortcuts. And as I mentioned earlier, you can use Alt Shift up or down to move a row. To indent or outdent an item, use Alt Shift right or left. You may be used to using Tab or Shift Tab for this, but remember, hitting Tab after Word will start a table structure, so it's easier to use this keyboard shortcut instead. If you structure your notes with multiple indents and create a hierarchy, outline shortcuts can help you view your notes by its hierarchical level. To illustrate this point, I'll create a few additional indents here. I'm going to highlight this paragraph and hit Alt Shift 1 to show the top outline level. Then we can click Alt Shift 2, 3, 4, so on and so forth to expand the additional layers. This is a quick way to validate that we are using the outline level in a consistent way. Tip number 5, Templates. If you use a certain format for your notes, templates can be a useful tool. There are pre-built templates that you can use and you can even make your own templates. From Home, go to Insert, then Page Templates. Let's select this pre-built template called Detailed Meeting Notes. It adds a nice little graphic as a background and adds common elements needed for a meeting note. This time, let's go to the Page Templates menu and select Page Templates again. We're presented with a sidebar that shows even more templates to choose from. I want to create my own template, so let's go to a page where I've already created a notes outline I want to use. On the bottom of the sidebar, let's choose the option to use current page as a template. Pick a template name and choose save. Now when we add a new blank page, we can come to this sidebar and select the template we just created. And if you want to use this template for all new pages in this section, you can select it as a default. And that's it. Those are my five favorite tips for OneNote. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are interested in contents like this, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks and bye for now.